Do you know how many blog posts are published in a day? Yeah, me either. I'm totally kidding. According to Tech Jury, this article I found said that 4.4 million blog posts were published every day in 2019. With all that content circulating on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, blog posts, articles, podcasts, books, and every other source or medium out there on the internet, it's important that we don't fall into this idea or this belief of a collector's fallacy. As I've mentioned before in this channel, the collector's fallacy is this idea or belief that we get in our heads that because you plan or I plan to read X number of articles per week or X number of books per year, that we are actually getting smarter because we're reading books, we're reading articles, or we're listening to podcasts. The problem is, you don't actually get smarter. You can't retain information if you don't actually process it and write out your own thoughts and ideas and make different connections from one podcast to a book or one article to a YouTube video that you read. If you don't get in the habit of processing these ideas and developing them and connecting them and interleaving them to other ideas, you get in this collector's fallacy, which is saying because you're collecting a lot of information or because you're reading a lot or listening to a lot, you think you're getting smarter. Well, you're actually not. Passive reading, passive listening, passive anything isn't going to help you or make you any smarter. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel where we talk about how to boost your productivity and build better habits. And in today's video, we're gonna look at how I annotate, highlight, and read articles in Rome Research. If you don't already know what Rome is, it is a powerful bi-directional note-taking app that is appropriately called from the founder, Connor White Sullivan, a tool for network thought, and its full name is Rome Research. If you'd like to get started in Rome Research, go ahead and click this video I linked above here, and it's gonna show you how to get started in Rome Research. Well, that's enough talking head for today's video. Let's jump into Rome Research and see how it works. The first thing to do is make your way to a master blog post page. If you don't have one, create one. I do this because it helps me stay nice and organized and keeps all of my blog posts in one spot. I type out the name of whatever the article is, and in this instance, I already have it created, so I'm going to link that on this page. Next, I'm going to shift click my template pages and copy and paste the metadata for articles. I use the word article and blog post interchangeably in case you're getting confused. Once I have that, I'm going to fill in the proper information such as the speaker, the source link in case I missed something, and the date I'm reading the article. And that's it. Skip over the keywords and notes for now and open or navigate in Chrome or Safari to the tab with the article. Copy and paste the entire body and paste that under the quote dropdown. The reason it's in a quote dropdown is because it helps keep the page clean and they're technically all quotes by the author. I then shift click the article heading to open the exact same page in the sidebar. And now that we have everything set up, let's begin reading. I start from the middle of the blog post and read to the end because it helps retain information better. I'm totally kidding. I don't, but I bet there are people out there who would believe that. On one side, you're going to read the article, and on the other, you're going to write notes and jot down any keywords. Try to write notes in your own words as best as you can, but you can either alt-drag or copy the block reference of the original block into the notes section under an indent to keep references. Use the keyword section and make new pages for any keywords the article addresses. This is going to be crucial for connecting thoughts or researching a topic, which I'm going to cover in the video soon. In this article, I would take the first keyword here and make a new page for that under the keyword section. You can either choose to open that page in the sidebar with shift plus click and jot down a definition now, but I typically wait until I finish the article because I don't want to interrupt the flow of the article or get distracted. I'm gonna finish this article and continue the video. Okay, so for example, let's say these are all the notes and keywords I have for this article. Obviously, there are more, but I'm just doing this for the sake of the video. So now any notes I want to truly remember, I'm going to make a new page for and add the permanent notes tag. If you want to see a video on how to take smart notes, click the link above. Next, I'm going to add definitions inside of each keyword page. And then once I feel like I've truly understood what the article is talking about and the keywords it addresses, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day. The process to dive deep and fully research a topic is a little bit different than this one, which I'm going to be covering soon in a new video. This is just for standalone blog posts. 
Well, that is it for today's video. That is how I take notes and process articles in Rome research. And if you like today's video, I wanna say go ahead, subscribe to my weekly newsletter. Every Friday, I send out tips on how to boost your productivity, build better habits, a little update in what's going on in the world of technology, plus a book, article, or podcast I found interesting that week. The link to that is in the description below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified when I post a new video. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.